Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 54 of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it back to Contigo, and in order to find Isaac, we have to go to the big house in the back. I mean, we got done with Jupiter Lighthouse, therefore we don't need to be there anymore. They're all gathered in this particular spot. I'm glad you kept your promise, Felix. Alright. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. What can we say, Isaac? Has Felix ever harmed you? Have you ever fought against you? Felix has been avoiding you, but he never had any intention of fighting you or anything. And he definitely helped us out back at Jupiter Lighthouse. Isaac's been worrying about Jenna nonstop since his nightmare began. How could she run away from him like that? She was afraid that if we met, we would be forced to fight. She didn't want that. I know that, now, but it doesn't explain why you're doing this. Felix betrayed his hometown Vale. That's why he hasn't been able to face Isaac. Felix had hoped to play the villain alone, without getting Jenna or me involved. He betrayed Vale? Kraden, what are you talking about? He conspired to steal the elemental stars and fire the beacons of the four lighthouses. That's what Saros and Minardi were trying to do! Why were you trying to help them? Our parents' lives were at stake! We had to help! Parents? But your parents died three years ago! In that storm! That night, Saros and his men had raided Soul Sanctum. The storm was their doing. Garrett, you saw two strangers that night, Saros and Minardi! They were the only survivors of Sateros' raiding party! They had failed to solve the mystery of Soul Sanctum. In doing so, they triggered the storm. What caused that boulder from Mount Alaf to crash down? Everyone thought that you were killed by that boulder, Felix! I can't tell you how glad I was to find you were alive! In fact, nobody was killed by the boulder that day. So that means... Wait a minute, Critten. Did you just say that NOBODY was killed by that boulder? But what about Isaac's dad? And Jenna and Felix's parents? I thought they died that day! I'm not so sure now. Yes, if Felix survived, Kyle and the others may have as well. Which is Isaac's dad. Why couldn't you tell us? We could've worked together to save your parents, couldn't we? Except that we had only just begun our journey, and we simply weren't strong enough. There's more to it than that. We had another reason to light the lighthouse beacons. Unless the lighthouse beacons were all, are all lit, Wayard will eventually be destroyed. Destroyed? But how? Why? King Hydros, ruler of Lemuria, says that our world is steadily shrinking. Elemental energy drives the growth of civilization. Without it, we and our world will wither. All that because the lighthouses aren't illuminated? According to my research, that seems to be the case. But once the lighthouses are all lit, you said the world would end anyway. That might be true, too. But if we do nothing, the world will definitely end. Wait for the end of the world to come up, or wind up accidentally triggering it ourselves. What a choice. Nothing is certain. There is no way to prevent the world from reaching its natural end. However, we can fight to save the world from withering away due to the actions of men. And Felix, you knew this? You were helping them because you knew what was happening? Yeah. You're a lot smarter than I remember you being. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I would have helped you! You wouldn't have done it before, Isaac. It would have meant violating the sacred teachings of Vale. Now that we know all of this, shouldn't we be going? Hema! Hello again. Hema, you know Isaac? And his companions too? We met at the temple on the edge of the Lamakan Desert. I'm Hama, descendant of the Animos. 
I was born in Kantigo, and I inherited the power of the Animos. Hey, we just got to Kantigo. We found out this is where Ivan was born. Yeah, we also learned that he's got a sister. Sister, you don't mean... That would be me, yes. Not now, Ivan. This isn't the time. What do you mean? I think I might have wanted a hug or something. Three lighthouses have been lit. The elements have been thrown out of balance. Jupiter is growing stronger, and the north grows colder with every passing moment. You must hurry to Mars Lighthouse. Ignite its beacon before all of Wayard freezes. Mars Lighthouse? Agatio has the Mars Star! He's on his way to light it now! I doubt they will be able to light the Mars Beacon. Why is that? There is a powerful force that does not want to see Mars rekindled. You will fail as well, unless you pull your strengths together and fight as one. <coughs> this is bad. We have to go. Now. I had hoped that you would feel that way. I prepared a gift for you, to aid you on your way to Mars Lighthouse. I must leave you now, but we will meet at the inlet. Okay. I'm sorry we left Venus Lighthouse without seeing you. I'm sorry for making you worry. Maybe that when this is all over, we can all go on a trip together. Hey Jenna, you sure seem calm, considering that we're racing to meet our enemies. I'm just relieved that we sorted our differences. Me too, Mia. We could not have stood divided against a common foe. Yeah, I guess I'm a little happy we're not going to have to beat Felix up. Listen, this is Felix's quest now. We're just doing what we can to help out. Aren't you happy? Yeah. Everything's finally come together. This is how it was meant to be, Felix. But Hama's waiting for us. Let's go to our ship. Alright, so you know what this means? Now we have not four, but eight party members now. I mean, Isaac's at level 30, and the rest are at level 29, so they're a little lower compared to our current party. Not only that, but their gene setup is automatically rearranged for some retarded reason, but I'm not going to complain. But at least these are the same gene we found in Golden Sun 1. In fact, if you did not use, like, a linked game, you would be able to find some of these gene, but they would be in different areas. You would only have, like, I believe, five to each character if you did not use a linked version. Okay, let's get everything back together, because, you know, I like vanilla teams. Deal with it, okay? Just learn to deal. This will take a while, but don't worry, it's worth it. Oh god, Mia got mostly Jupiters now. Like, that ain't right, guys. That just ain't right. Not for me. There, that's much better. Okay, Flint, strike a blow that can cleave stone. Granite creates a mighty earthen barrier similar to Shade. Quartz can revive a downed ally. Vine can drop agility for foes. Sap can attack foes, steal HP. Ground can use gravity to keep a foe from moving for one turn. And Bane uses poison. Torch will penetrate defense. Flash will is similar to granite and shade. Ember will restore party PP. Scorch will stun a foe with a blast attack. Corona will boost defense. Fever will cause like delusion on a foe. Forge will boost party attack. Gust will attack. Breeze will boost resistance, Zephyr will boost speed, Spot Smog will... Okay, Veil of Vision's fo foe's vision and smoke make it harder for him to hit us. Kite is to attack twice the next round, Squall is for paralyzing a foe with Storm, they use Paralysis, and Love can seal a foe's synergy. Dew can revive a downed ally, Tana can heal all party ailments, Hail can drop defense... <coughs> My throat is getting bad! Sprit res Spritz restores party PP. Mist lulls a foe to sleep. Sleet is for dropping attack, and Fizz is for restoring HP. Yeah, that's quite a mouthful. 
But anyways, if you did not use like a linked quest and didn't import the items, Garrett would not be able to... Wait a minute, I forgot to actually equip these. Yeah, we imported all the armor, but unfortunately, none of it is equipped. Isaac will come with catch. Garrett will come with... Actually, force is not automatic. You can only get this from a linked version. He will have carry, though. And Ivan will have lift. And frost and douse, which are not exactly that useful. Okay, did Mia have anything useful? Halt. Okay, so carry... Carry, catch, and lift will come with you automatically. The other items for synergy will not come with you. In fact, if you did not have a link version and not have force, well, you would not be able to get this. Okay, that's not the particular stump. But I know there's a stump you have to hit with force. I just gotta think about what one it was. I think it's this one. Nope, wrong one. Yeah, it could be this one. No, I don't want to talk to you. Get away. Hmm, I could have swore it was the one to the northwest. If that's the stump we gotta hit, right there. Let me try that again. No, not carry. Let me try that again. There, that's better. Apparently I missed my mark the first time. So yeah, without force you would not be able to get this, Ginny. Okay, and it's Shine. Since Team Felix has like 8 Gene each, and Isaacs only has 7 each, from now on for a little while, once we find more Gene, they're gonna go to Isaac's team. Dazzle foes and strike decisively. I'll definitely give that to Garrett. Now he becomes a hero. Okay, Liquifier, I don't remember seeing in Golden Sun 1. That's probably a new synergy. So in the meantime, let's get Isaac's team fully set up. Okay, Mithril shirt. He had the quick boots. He had the warrior's helm. Okay, mirrored shield is good. Uh, silver blade is nice attack, but I prefer Gaia blade, of course. Uh, Azra's armor or dragon scales. I think we're gonna go with. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Yeah, I'll go with the dragon scales for now. Looks like I got some stuff to sell too. I might as well equip like the cloak ball, even though we won't be needing it. Okay, Garrett's the one with the cleric's ring, and it's the only one you can find in the game. I prefer, let's say, Miramasa over the demon axe. I'll still be cursed, but at least the effects won't kick in, thanks to the Cleric Ring. Running Shirt... Thunder Crown... Uh, let's see... Quick Boots... And Spirit Gloves. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure. Now let's go to Ivan. Hyper Boots... Mithril Shirt... Might as well equip these, even though I'm not going to use them, and sadly, I cannot sell them. Kuchimanji. Aura Gloves. Storm Gear. And Lucky Cap. So, we're all set there. Now, as for Mia, Silk Shirt. Hyper Boots. The Lure Cap is for increasing random battles. Not very good piece of armor. Mithril Circlet. Spirit Armlet. The Righteous Mace. Let's see, Magical Cassock, Ninja Garb, or Oracle's Rope. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Oracle's Rope. Now the rest of these, I can just sell. Man, this is just a lot of maintenance. I think... Oh, why is that locked? That is just very dumb. Why, why would you lock the place? Yeah, they're telling me to go to the boat, it seems. Yeah, yeah, they're already with us. Okay, you can go to your status, you can actually change who's in your party. Okay, now at this point, let's put Jenna in front, but Felix out. Now watch what happens. If Jenna's in front of the party, I think this works, I'm not 100% sure. 
Okay, it's just normal music. I No, way, Felix was in the party all along. That would explain it. I meant to have, like, neither Felix or Isaac in the party. Only I screwed up. That's okay. I don't care what anyone says, that's still very awesome. But it's pretty cool that you can now switch amongst your party members. This will really come in handy. In fact, even if one party dies, the other one automatically kicks in and I forgot to switch out. In fact, you can make one switch per turn. Just select who you want to take out. And let's just say, swap out Felix for Garrett. And you can do this like once per turn, that's pretty cool. And not only that, but the four party members that are not competing in the current battle, and the battle is over, they will still get experience, but it's only half of the total experience you win. Okay, so let's try one more battle. Well, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to go in there yet, but soon. Let's trigger a battle on purpose. Yep, you get to hear Jenna's theme again. This only happens if, say, Felix or Isaac are not in your current party. But at least have Jenna in it. In fact, I think that's pretty much the only thing you can do. Give or take. No, no, I don't think that's true. That's only like three. So anyways, let's take Jenna out, and we'll put Isaac in. Now watch what happens if Isaac is, say, your leader, or even in the party without Felix. Just do one little demonstration and that's it. Yep, you get to hear the traditional Golden Sun 1 battle music. Isn't that very cool that you can put, like, different battle themes in the game? Like, in one game, depending on your party setup. You can hear different tracks. Oh, Jenna's a level 32. Nice. Okay, now's the time to go to the inlet. Actually, before I go on to the boat, there is one more thing I can do. This is where Ivan comes in handy. So why don't you lift that for me? have to use Shiba, you Cyclone. Oh look, a Venus Ginny! If we keep this up, we'll eventually have eight each on everyone. Ah, uh, Geo, that goes to Isaac. Oh, there you are. Strike with a clot of Earth. Now he becomes a Slayer as well, like Felix. Let's see what happened to the boat. Whoa! Hey, they fitted the ship with wings now! Alright! It's almost time! Time to watch a legend become reality! If everyone will just obey Hama's request, the ship will surely fly! When the winged ship of Animos flies once again, the whole land shall be made free. That's what the legend says, anyway. But what land needs free? You seem free enough. Oh, you guys are so oblivious to what's going on. Once you remove the stone anchors weighing the ship down, it should fly. I've been waiting for you, Felix. Take a look at your ship. I like, I like. Now that you have been given wings, all obstacles in your path will vanish forever. Well, that's a bit of a lie, actually. However, it is not the wings alone that grant your ship the power of flight. Synergy is the force that powers the wings of Animos. If the ship is to fly, you will need to focus the power of your minds. You have visited Shaman Village recently, have you not? Now is the time to make use of the powers you acquired there. Now, use the power of Hover to raise your ship. At first, you may not want to move your ship too high or too far. It will be difficult at first, but that is to be expected. After all, this is your first flight. But your quest should not demand much more of you. Now, be confident and set sail! 
all of Kantigo is watching. Show them your power, and make your vessel fly! Okay. Hey, wait! Master Hammond requested that I deliver this to Isaac, and I totally forgot about it. Well, you better hurry. I'm supposed to deliver this to Isaac. It's not too late, is it? Oh, that's what happens if you save Master Hammett from Lunpa in Golden Sun 1. On the way here, I stopped in Calais briefly to speak with Master Hammett. He was quite upset that you hadn't returned to visit him so he could thank you. So he requested that I take this with me to Ateka. It is a gift of thanks from Master Hammett. Take it, please. Okay. Ooh, or a Halcon! That's what you're gonna need to forge the best stuff, including Excalibur. Alright, so to fly, you just hold B, and your synergy for everyone will slowly drain. We did it! The ship took off without a hitch! Yeah, but shouldn't it be flying a little higher than this? Hammett told us that we wouldn't be able to fly very high until we were more familiar with Hover. Let's see how far we can take this thing. Shiba, what's wrong? You don't look happy. Do you remember on Itajima when I told you I had my own reasons for joining your quest? You were so secretive. Are you going to tell us now? You've gone quiet again. It's okay. You don't have to tell us if you're not ready yet. I thought if I went to Jupiter Lighthouse, I would learn who I was. I remember the people of Lalivero talking about how Shiba fell from the sky. All my life, I've been wondering for the answer, or looking for it. Where was I born? And why was I abandoned? You knew Felix was going to Jupiter Lighthouse eventually, so you went along with him. But you didn't find any answers, did you, Shiba? I'm sorry, Shiba. I was so excited to find Kantigo that I didn't consider your feelings. What? Why is everyone so down all of a sudden? Farron raised Sheba like his own daughter. He's cared for her ever since he first found her. Yes, that's true, but... But you can never be his real daughter, is that it? Garrett, you don't have to be so blunt about it. No, he's right. I want to know my real parents, no matter how caring Farron might have been. You think so? For me, I doubt it bother me at all. Shiba, you may not know this, but you and I are very similar. What do you mean? Well, it's not exactly the same situation, but... I was born in a poor village. My memories are hazy, but I still remember it. I was only four when Babi took me under his wing. You see, even though I was young, I was quite intelligent. Babi had heard about me. And Babi took you to Tolby to further your education, to raise you as a scholar. I was separated from my parents so early in life. I've never known the comforts of a true home. Baron has always been like a father to me. I must have been very lucky. I should say so. Thank you, Creighton. I feel better now. I'm glad I could help. Well, we should be going. Let's hurry on, Felix. I totally agree. In fact, I believe it was around here or here where there was one rusty item you could get, but it was surrounded by rocks. Luckily, with this power, we should be able to get to them. In fact, as long as you're hovering, you have no battles to deal with. And in case you want to conserve your synergy and just go at a normal pace, just hit hover. It's kind of glitchy, but you'll just move as normal. And it looks like you're consuming synergy, but you're not. It's like you're sailing as normal. The only issue is you can't select your mini-map as you go along until you press B again. Like so. Alright, I mean, we got a lot to do, it seems. Like, I got a lot of exploring, and you know, here and there, find some gene, get some summons. There is a couple places we can get summons right now. One over in, like, the Atinka continent, and one in the Wayard continent. 
And I can also go to Yalam. In fact, I can take the shortcut now that I can hover over those rocks, too. But sadly, you can still go over these. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're gonna plan our next move. Goodbye, everybody.